guys, it is Kathleen Lita here. So today's video is going to be a volleyball video. So as I think I told you guys, I do play volleyball and I play basketball as well. Um, but I'll do that type of video another time during basketball season. Um, and I wanted to do this video for you guys because um, I just got a letter today and it was our volleyball season is going to be, well, our volleyball season starts in late August um, is when we can actually start practicing. Um, but we start our, not conditioning, but like open gyms, that type of thing uh, next week. So, um, not that long. Um, so, yeah. I just wanted to do a video for you guys and I was just thinking what video to do and I thought what about a volleyball advice slash tips video. Um, so this is for any person who is just beginning volleyball or wants to get into volleyball um, and yeah. So I also want to start off by saying I am not a professional or anything like that but I just thought I would do this video because I know a little bit about volleyball. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So my first tip is going to be apparel related. And that is um, stock up on things like these shorts. They're coming off a bit of a weird color on camera, but um, oh, they're backwards. Um, stock up on running shorts. Now you're probably wondering like why don't they use spandex? Well, yes, we do use spandex. But, uh, we use running shorts for practices, open gyms, that type of thing. Now, obviously, if your club or team does not let you, like, obviously don't then, but, um, for most, what I've heard of anyways, it is, um, going to be, you know, running shorts for practices so that they don't get yucky for, um, games. And then also get volleyball shoes specifically for volleyball just a small tip, but definitely important. Also apparel related, um, my favorite uh, spandex for games are um, the Nike Pro ones. Those are super comfortable. Um, I personally think it's important to be comfortable in your spandex, you know what I mean? Like, some are super, like, odd because some are super tight for the waistband and then pretty loose or vice versa. So, um, those are my uh, favorite ones, the Nike Pro ones, but then my, but those are in the washer. So I don't know where, um, like I can't obviously show right now, but my second favorite ones are Mizuno ones. They just like, like this, I'll show you like the, I've used them so much that the thing is sort of coming off a little bit, but it's not bad. Um, but yeah, so also again, apparel, it's just sort of important, like these little tips. Um, uh, bleh, I can't talk, talk today. Knee pads. Obviously essential if you're going to need them. Um, it took me a really long time to find my favorite pair of knee pads. I don't know if like, I, I don't know, I could not find ones that were comfortable. Maybe if I went back now, like from the very, very beginning, you know, I would find one you know, since I wasn't really used to them, because they're not the most comfortable things unless you're used to them. Um, but yeah, these are mine. They're looking pretty ragged. I haven't, these are from last season. I'm going to be getting new ones. But I'm going to be getting the same ones because these were super duper awesome. Um, and these are just the Nike ones, the Nike black ones. Oh, also get black and everything if you can, because that is most likely going to be your team like color, unless otherwise I would just go with black. Again, it's just sort of more uniform. Um, so yeah, also make sure to wash these because they get really, really nasty. Also, just a small tip, always wear or bring a hairband. If you're not gonna wear it, at least bring it. Although I really would recommend wearing it because, you know, your hair is gonna get in the way and you wanna make sure that you have a clear vision, obviously for the ball. Um, so yeah. So more tips. Or advice on more like non-substance uh, stuff I guess you could say I don't know if that's the right term I guess um, one of my biggest all-time tips I will ever give you for volleyball is be loud 
and be aggressive. Now, obviously, be loud is pretty self-explanatory. If the ball, if you are going to get the ball, scream for it. I mean, scream for it. If you are trying out for a team, that is one of the number one things that a coach is going to be looking for because at the end of the day, they can fix if you don't have a good serve or if you don't have a good pass or a good set. But if you're not loud, if you're not moving your feet, if you're not really into the game, they can't really honestly change that. That's you. So be loud. Be proud to be playing volleyball. <laughs> um, and also be aggressive. You know, because sometimes, I don't know, I've done it too, I'm not blaming other kids at all, but sometimes you're going to run into people, that's okay, as long as that ball gets where it needs to go. That is our, that, that is the number one thing that you need to make sure of doing. If you run into a person, if you body slam a person, that's okay, just make sure that you hit the ball good, as good as possible in that situation, obviously. But if the person, you know, don't back away, don't be shy, you might have to body slam a few people, it's going to be all right. <laughs> um, but just get the ball where it needs to go. That is one of the biggest tips because sometimes people are scared of contact. You just need to go, you know, be, be strong, go in for the pass, go in for the set, whatever it may be. Do it and do it as well as you're possibly going to get it. Also, um, just because I forgot to mention, uh, if you have a, um, a hairband, I would definitely recommend wearing it. Um, I have found that the Nike ones, the Nike tie-back ones, are really nice because obviously they fit all head sizes, so it doesn't matter if you have a small or a big head, um, or a medium-sized head, I guess. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend having one of those, and during games... Obviously, like I said before, preferably black to match or make it as uniform looking as possible. During practices, it doesn't really matter because obviously, you know, it's not like the real deal thing. You're not representing. Um, but also, um, this is just, it sounds really funny and you're probably going to laugh, but definitely take it into consideration. Um, volleyball conditioning is, you know, for school, like, it's not a very, I don't know really how to explain it, is a sport that does not include as much running, obviously, as, say, basketball or soccer or football, but it does, you know, you have to be in shape. You can't just go play a super important tournament right off, you know, right off of a non-season time. Like, and that's not going to be easy. It's not going to be fun. You're going to feel lousy. So take conditioning seriously and also know that it's not easy um you know my first year I was obviously I didn't know what to expect but what I thought it was going to be a lot easier than say a basketball one you know basketball conditioning and you know my basketball conditioning was a bit harder just because there was more running and I'm not huge like I don't mind running, but it's just not my favorite thing ever. Um, but yeah, just take it seriously. You're going to have to work up that upper body strength. You're going to have to work on your jumping. Um, and I know those aren't the most fun things, but they're essential to becoming a better volleyball player. And lastly, my um, also big tip is if there is an open gym, if there's, obviously, if it's, you know, a practice, anything that you can go to, go to because it is going to help you. It is going to make you feel good. And it's, it's you know, you're gonna, I don't know. I just, I definitely recommend it. I definitely recommend um, going to all, as many open gyms as possible. You know, I'm not gonna be able to go to every single one because I have trips, but if it's like just a day thing, if you can leave maybe a little bit early or whatever it may be, just obviously I understand that we all have lives. But volleyball is also a part of that life, and you need to take it seriously. So that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I really hope to be doing more sport videos for you guys. Um, and yeah, so I will see you guys later in my next video, and make sure to leave a comment down below 
I really love to read your comments and please give me a big thumbs up that really really helps me and make sure to subscribe and do the notification I can't talk today <laughs> um, press that little bell so that you can become part of the notification squad be my squad guys <laughs> that was so cringy um, but yeah guys I will see you guys in my next video bye